You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Your parents didn't raise you this way. And neither did I. Look, I did what you had to. But at what cost? We both know how this argument goes. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being that man can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again.
This is a silver bullet. That's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for years. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. Until we find nothing, though, I gotta play bad cop. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car.
nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. Sneak up on me! Shoot me, Bond! 
Jones. You think I wanted to lead you here? Prove Yeah, something weeks about this old thing. And it isn't dead best. Still want to play games? We'll be playing here, couldn't you? Plus, chemicals get so riled up about. Never mind, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. And who did? No, with that. Gotham's watching now. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that the city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. Entire cave. Master Bruce. Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I. What have you been hiding from me? Alfred!
parents died, they left me as caretaker of their estate, their son, and their secrets. I would never betray them. were good people, Bruce, no matter what that thunk Falcone told you. And swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters, too. Wonder who he's after next. I will find the truth. 